Hello everybody, this is Kuro. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this shield in ZBrush. Uh, basically what we're gonna be using is C Modeler, and then later on we're gonna be using uh, the IMM brushes to create the small details. So let's get it on. Okay, so this is just going to be a summary of the video. The first thing you gotta do is start your scene. Like I would just uh, get a primitive, hit edit, and then make it a polymesh 3D. After that, what I always do is remember to rename it. It doesn't matter honestly what you do because later on you're just gonna insert a new mesh. And I use the customize button right there to basically get the mesh that I want. I feel that I got a more control in there than in initialize. Uh, my sphere is already cut up because I was already working with it, but usually uh, when you start it, yours is gonna be with a lot more poly. But what I like to do is basically just make sure that I do everything by multiplications of 8. And in that case, what I did is 32 uh, polygons for the round shape. And then I just, I believe I use 8 for basically create the actual plate. That way I don't got a lot, lot of geometry, but it's still not too little. I can actually see the side, the, the actual size and the actual form that I'm actually aiming for. Okay, so with this, we're basically already over with the, with the plate. What I'm gonna do is basically get into C modeler. And then with C modeler, what I'm gonna do is crease the, the edge. If you notice, when I actually hit uh, dynamic subdivision, you're gonna see that it kind of shrinks a little bit so what i like to do in these cases is just uh crease that that edge that way i can actually retain the size that i want and it's gonna be smooth but uh, i don't lose anything okay so with this we are pretty much already done with the uh, with the actual plate so what i'm gonna do now is the boss the boss is basically the centerpiece is usually uh, round but what i did is that i want to do like a, i would say like a diamond shape uh since i want to keep it consistent with the character that i'm creating there basically that's gonna be the emblem so i make it as small as i actually want but i don't actually like leaving sharp edges so in that case, I use C modeler for to actually just create a bevel. That way it's gonna look a lot smoother. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is just create the frame. For the frame, I, you actually got a lot of options. I went with the cylinder since I actually find that there are the for me, the easiest to manipulate. I'll make sure I get a, the size that I actually want. So now what I do is uh, basically turn in the polyframes so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I use C modeler to actually insert edges. I'm gonna insert two because I kind of want to do a little bit of transition between it now what i'm gonna do is use the polygroups i use the polygroup option because then instead of having to mask or just hit individual polygons or stuff like that i could just basically draw on them make all that inner part uh the same polygroup and then what i'm gonna do is basically use the c modeler again and just use move by polygroup and then i can push that middle part the center inwards now i want to basically do the same but for the back of the shield i do want to make it a little bit more sharp do the same i create a new polygroup and then i i push it in Now what I do is that I, I show what happens when you actually divide or in this case do a dy dynamic subdivi subdivision and then you see that it kind of gets like rounded up. 
I don't want that. What I wanted is to still keep the some sharp edges. Uh, I want to keep the form, but I do want it to look smooth. So what I start doing is basically using bevel on the on the edges that I actually want to have a little bit of transition. But I use crease and the ones that I just want to be really sharp. Usually the ones that are not going to be visible, those are the ones that I do crease. On the other ones, I kind of do it by eye. Now with dynamic subdivisions, you can already see that it's looking really smooth. I turn on the dynamic subdivision of that one, so that way we can appreciate more the shape that I'm actually aiming for. And with that, we basically now go into the last part. And the last part is creating the accessories. Uh, I believe I call them something like uh, plate guards. With this one, I'm going to start by creating a rectangular shape. Uh, I would recommend, uh, which is something that I didn't do, is basically finish the whole shape before doing anything else. Uh, in this case, what I did is that I just used taper and then I show that it is the, it, basically the modifier takes over all of the axis, but you actually got some handles in which you can uh, basically in that case on the set axis, what I did was just put opacity at zero. That way the modifier got no control over that axis. Then what I did was basically bevel the corners. Again, I don't like to, to leave uh, sharp edges. In there I show that I'm using the bend curve modifier, but the issue with that is that since I don't have any geometry, it's not gonna actually do anything. At least not, not anything, but not the, the effect that I want. So what you gotta do is use uh, C-Modeler again, and what you're gonna do is put insert edges, but in this case, you're gonna put multiple. It's up to you um, how many you prefer. You just gotta have enough for you so when you actually do the bend curve, you actually got geometry to be able to rotate it and it doesn't look too sharp. But still, we're gonna run dynamic subdivision again, so it should be smoother regardless, but it's always nice to have enough to, to work with. And then uh, hit accept. And then uh, if you just do it like this, and then you actually try to subdivide it, you'll see that it's gonna be too rounded. In there, I had a, a little hiccup with symmetry. You gotta turn it off to be able to do this. I just basically put it in place however I want. And now what we're gonna do is go to geometry, modify topology, and use middle and weld. It's gonna help you out a lot. Uh, we, and that way I just use it in the X uh, axis, but for that in symmetry, you could use radial too, but since it's middle and weld, I use I used it in the X and on the Y axis. That way I could just get the shape right away. I should have done the IMM brushes before. That way I could have made sure that it was on the on the actual center. But by the eye it still was good enough. Now what I'm trying to check is which of the edges I actually gotta use crease on. That way when I do the subdivision, they will still retain the shape, but it will give me a, a smoother transition. So I tried it, it was still doing that. So what I realized is those small edges, I still needed to crease. And with that, we're basically already finished. What we gotta do is just middle and weld it again. And we got the basic shape. Now we just use the IAM brushes. I use the Phillips. 
Then I turn all the polyframes, that way I can kind of see uh, where I'm placing them. Then I turn symmetry on the X and Y, that way I'm basically doing the work all at once. I'm gonna do middle and well again. In there, I should have um, basically unmask it because in order for you to actually have it snap to the surface, I noticed that when it's unmasked, it works better. And that's pretty much it. Now, all that I'm missing is basically drop a material for it to look actually legit. And that's it. So I just want to say thank you for watching. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. What I want to do is that do two style of videos. Basically, I'm going to do this type of fast forward, just breakdown. Well, I would say summary of the actual video. And then I'm going to actually upload the other one. The other one is just going to be a uh, step by step. It's going to be way longer. That's why I actually decided to go this route first. Uh, the This actual video is around like 30 minutes long. So I think it's gonna be honestly up for preferences. That way people already know they can just watch this style of video and they, they, know, they don't know anything at all. They can watch the other one. And again, just thank you again for watching and I hope to see you next week. Bye.